A more subdued commemoration of the founding father's birth anniversary than was widely expected of North Korea. No parades or show of arms or passionate speeches from leader Kim Jong-un. A very different image of the country that's recently threatened thermonuclear war against South Korea and the U.S. Although the situation is tense, people look very happy. I'm also very happy to serve them. There was no indication that there would be weapons tests as was feared by neighboring countries. North Korea has previously conducted such tests around important national occasions. And in some ways, I think the North wants now to present things as business as usual, really. But we shouldn't expect them to, um, in a sense, leave this issue hanging. I suspect the North will want to try and capitalize on the mood of anxiety that they've created so far and try and push for extra concessions from the Americans. The U.S. Secretary of State was just in the region and reiterated his government's willingness to talk as long as North Korea showed it was serious about denuclearization. Despite the relative quiet across the border, South Korea remains on high alert, not wanting to be caught unprepared. The South Korean Defense Ministry says that the North is still able to fire a missile anytime it wants to. The Founding Father's birthday may not be that time. And as North Korea celebrates, it knows it has the world outside its borders still watching it closely. Marga Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Seoul.